In this particular chapter, we'll talk about the concept of temperature and what it means. So in an LLM, there is always this parameter called temperature that you can control. Now temperature defines how random or predictable your output is. Now if you have a high temperature set for your LLM, then the output text would end up being a little more creative. Whereas if you set it to a lower temperature, then the output that you get would be a little more predictable and consistent, but it wouldn't be as creative as if you set it with a higher temperature. Now let's assume that you have an LLM and the LLM is creating text that goes something like this, that the cat sat on the, now the LLM has to decide what the next word should be in this particular sequence. So how it would do is basically the LLM has got a choice of these words from which it has to decide which should be the next particular text for this particular sequence. Now if the temperature is set to low, then basically the one that has a higher probability would be the next word in the sequence. However, if you set the temperature to high, then the next word in the sequence could be one which has a lower probability. Now this would make the text more creative, but again, it could be less coherent. So, so now if you go back to your console, let's click on freeform. And here you can see that the temperature is set to one. So here it's defined again what a temperature means that the lower temperature is good when you expect a true or correct response. A temperature of zero means that the highest probability token is generally selected. A higher temperature can lead to a diverse or unexpected result. So the default is always set to one. Now the range goes from zero to two. Okay, so now let's look at an example of setting the temperature. Now, if I set the temperature to zero, and if I ask a question like, what is an LLM? It'll give an answer like this. Now here, now here the words that are chosen are basically the ones that have has, are basically the ones that have the highest probability. Now, if I set this to two, and if I click on this again, here you can see that the text that is generated is very different. Now these are texts that have basically a lower probability. So if you're trying to answer a question that needs a precise answer, then it makes more sense to set your temperature to zero. Whereas if you want more creative text, it makes more sense to set your temperature to two. It, be, it depends on what kind of prompt you're creating and what the use case is for your particular prompt. Okay, another concept that you need to know is top K and top P sampling. So what is the definition of top K sampling? The top K and top P sampling's definition are as follows. It limits the number of possible next tokens to the top K most probable ones. Here the value of K is set by the user itself. Now similarly for top P, it selects the tokens based on the cumulative probability, dynamically choosing the smallest set whose probability adds up to P. So here the value of P is also chosen by the user. So here the value of K can be anywhere between one to 10 or it depends, but it's always an integer. Whereas for P, it's always a number between zero and one. So how does it work? So for top K sampling, the model only considers the top K, again, this is a number that is chosen by you, tokens and randomly selects one of them based on the probability. Whereas for top P, the model includes all tokens whose cumulative probability, probability adds up to P. So here, Remember the difference between temperature and sampling is that the sampling decides how many tokens should be there in your list, whereas the temperature decides which particular token should be chosen. An example of this is basically if you set the K out to three to the previous example that I had shown, then the output would be one of these three tokens or words. Whereas if you chosen the value of P as 0.9, It'll include all the tokens whose cumulative sum adds up to 0.9 from the highest to the lowest. Now let's go back and look at this example again. Now here, if the top K is set to three, now this would limit the number of next tokens that can be generated. So it can be one of these three and based on the temperature, it will choose from one of these three, which should be the next particular token that gets generated. For top P, it decides the list of tokens based on the sum of your probability. Here the probability is 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.151 and 0.5. Here if the cumulative adds up to 0 0.9 or the value that you've set, only those particular tokens would be selected and none of the others would be. Now let's go back to our GCP console and see where you can set your top key and top key. So here if you go to the advanced, you can see that 
this is basically where you can set your top k and top p again the top k is set to 40 now for certain new models these values cannot be changed so i am using currently the gemini 1.5 model now we'll discuss what all models are currently available in gcp but for this particular model you cannot set the top k it is by default set to 40 however you can set the top p so the top p value by default is set to 0.95 now you can decide from 1 to 0 what is the top p that you want so that's it for this one in the next chapter we'll discuss on what tokens are